right, my friends, Skyway. I think this is the last thing I'm going to show you. I am tired and am running out of steam. Um, we'll find out other things you'd like to learn tomorrow, and then I will shoot some more videos. So um, I want a Skyway going from this building to this building. So because I'm going from the right-hand side to the right-hand side, I'm going to use this right-hand vanishing point. So I'm going to decide where do I want my Skyway to be. So maybe I decide that I want a Skyway that's going to look like it goes into this building, and then I want a Skyway that's going to go from here to this building. So I'm going to want to probably have them on the same level. So for instance, I'm going to start, let's say I just decide I'm going to have my Skyway start here and end here. So I'm going to take my ruler, line it up with my vanishing point, and I'm going to bring this Skyway over to wherever I want it to end. Same thing, I would go underneath just because that way you can see what you're doing. So you can see the spacing. And then I would do a straight vertical line going straight up and down here. Now normally on a Skyway you have um, kind of an area that is solid where people, where there's just glass on top and you can't really see underneath. So then this would be kind of the solid part. This would be glass. So sometimes when you have skyways, you have glass panels when people are walking. And then you also tend to have a doorway. So I would go from this side down to this vanishing point and I would probably have something here that might be coming down. So here is the roof of my skyway. And actually I'm going to move this pan, this door, this window panel over a little bit more. So here's a window panel here. And then to show that this is a door going back into the building, I'm going to line this up and I'm just going to keep this going. So do you see how this is walking into the side of the building? So this is open going through. Now if I am doing another one over here, I'm going to want to make sure that it kind of matches up. So it looks like it's connecting and I would do the same thing for here. So I would line up with the vanishing point oh, it might be too high. I'd have to come down a little bit. That's a little better. I'm not going to see the building, maybe, through there. So again, this is where people are walking. Oh, and I might be seeing underneath this too, because it's above the horizon line. I might be seeing the bottom of the, I'm gonna be seeing the bottom of that skyway as well. So you have to think about that too. I'm not seeing the top because it's above the horizon line because I'm seeing the, but I will see the bottom because it's above. So this is the bottom of the of the skyway. This is the edge. I'm going to go in and I'm going to add the doorway from inside the building that shows the skyway. I'm going to add the this is the um, the wall and the ceiling inside the skyway. You're going to see the top of the skyway since we're seeing that. And then here we have our window panels starting here. 
And then we're going to see the other side. So there might be pants some window panels coming from that side as well. So now we have a skyway. Now they're slightly off, but you get the basic idea. This, these two buildings are close, so you couldn't see it too clearly. This is, one looks a little bit better. And then if you want, you can draw little people in here waving. Hi. So somebody, little worker bee. But anyway, um, I think shot enough videos for tonight. So we will start Two Point Perspective tomorrow and I will take um, suggestions for what other videos you would like to see. So have a great night, everybody. See you tomorrow.